Hey there, what's going on everybody? We're back to more Starfield here today. And this is where I'm deciding to start it off at. So last time we made it here to New Atlantis. We just kind of roamed around a little bit, got a nice lady some coffee, sold a bunch of stuff. I still have other stuff on me that I want to get rid of, but I don't want to get rid of because it's resources. We'll figure it out when we get back to the ship. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. Uh, as I was roaming around, I saw this person Working has a name. Working at the Office of Interstellar Affairs is honestly my dream job. I want to chat with her, and then I'm going to go talk to that scientist. If I move back to Neon, I'd miss New Atlantis like crazy. Yeah, I work at MAST, in the Office of Interstellar Affairs. I'm a sort of liaison between the UC and the Free Star Collective. I help solve communication problems, show visiting diplomats the city, things like that. Probably doesn't sound all that exciting to you, but I love it. I've been interested in a diplomatic career since I was a kid. Why? Why would you want that? No, I'm from Neon. I moved here a couple months ago for a job at the Office of Interstellar Affairs. Okay. Oh, I love it. I think New Atlantis is the most beautiful place in the settled systems. I can't believe how many trees there are in the city. You have to say that? Thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Probably won't. Just say, okay, she didn't have much to do. Scientist man! First you. Excuse me. Never mind. Hello, how you doing? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. You need to be staring at a tree. I am not staring. I am analyzing. He's analyzing, this guys. This is important xenobiological work. Oh. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? No. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Uh... uh maybe. A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Yeah. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Gotcha. I'm tracking. Where are they at? Is that one of them? No. There's one way over there. Dude, it's turning night out. Look at that. And look at this place. Anyway, it's been a while since we had a chance to catch up. I've got no complaints. Damn. Granted, there was a period there where I wasn't sure where my life was going. But now, all good. You doing okay? I know it's been a rough week. Really, I've been pretty blessed to have the life that I do. Right there, right? No, wait, what the fuck? Wait, wasn't the item I was trying to get right over there? I could have sworn there was one over here. Well, let's go with that really quick. Why not? Oh, there it is.
Well, you... Okay, sure. Our mission statement. To deliver the best quality life improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Ryogen Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation. We strive toward advancement and believe there is always room for improvement. Fulfilling customer desire is our number one goal in the news. See the latest news at Ryogen Industries. As a leading technology corporation in the settled systems, we love to keep our customers up to date. All articles written by Ryogen Industries marketing department. Uh, celebrating 20 years. Oh boy. Uh, I don't want to read that much. Now, hire. Uh, uh, neuro amps? What's that? From our neuro amps every day. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, subsidiaries. Drone. Sure. Sure. How many years of experience do you have working in the secretarial position or corporate environment? None. How familiar are you with Ryogen Industries and its product lines? Not at all. What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? I would give it about a medium. What level of education have you completed? High school. Do you have a history of criminal activity? Yes. Your application now complete. To officially submit your application, please select the applicant below. Beep. Please report to Imogen Salzo on the operations floor of Ryogen Towers in Neon for your interview. Mom, I got an interview. I did just graduate high school. I got an interview now. Look at that. Yay. I'm going to go join the working class. Become... Someone who works well with society. Hey, Good. all those words. Out. Shut up. Look at this place. Damn. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. Hello. Are you him? So much to see. You look like someone who has many stories to tell. Could you speak up there? Yes. You're, the you're, you're, you're pretty far away. Ah. The usual things, I suppose. Fame, fortune, power. Power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. Many years now. For a collector like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the settled systems. Well. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> Me? Uh, why, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes. Do you start every sentence with laughing? Artifacts on Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Do they? Can you imagine life without them? Yes. Yes, I can. A plate? Oh my. As in a plate from earth? Absolutely. Without question. Here, take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume. If he wanted his gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. He's too the proud. The gem is worthless. Less than a paperweight. But actually, Earth paperweights are quite valuable. <laughs> Seems there's a lot of animosity between you and Gilam. I can't pronounce his name. Bah, I'm sure Guillaume makes it seem Guillaume. that way. In reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men, he is the closest thing I have to a brother. And Aww. much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. I will say, however, Guillaume can be a tad overdramatic. 
as well as a sore loser. Don't tell him I said that. Well, I'm gonna tell him you said that, of course. Naturally. Thank you. And we have one right up there to go grab that bad boy. Ooh, don't mind me. I'm a video game main player, okay? I don't do things the way the rest of you NPCs do. I go around in other ways, like that. Hello, who are you? Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, what? It wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss mm. Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Oh, shit. No, kid! Kid! <sighs> Sorry, I can't play right now. I'm grounded. What the fuck are you doing out then? Hold on, I want to go over here and look at the... What is that? Can I zoom? Yeah, I can now. So can I go like far over there? Like... Awesome. We're gonna have to go do that here in a bit. Dude, the game runs so well at night. Holy can't shit. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Well, Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You are the best! Please tell me you're not here to see Mr. Barron. Welcome to SSNN. David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. Please tell me you're not here to see Mr. Barron. I can't believe I'm here. David's amazing. And I hear he sings. Hi, I want to see David. Welcome to chaos. That should be our motto. Yes, it should. We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention, there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. He said swell. Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about oh. Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC. And that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. Damn, you salty as shit. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. The well. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. I mean, look at me. You think anyone's willing to uh, read something like that? I wouldn't be writing it if I didn't. No. Most people in New Atlantis like to pretend the well doesn't exist. I think it's important to call attention to what's going on down there. Can I ask what the well even is? No, I'm going to go do it. Really? You sure? Yep. The well's a pretty dangerous place. Don't care. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. Don't worry about it. You give me credits as a co-author. Who do I look like? David Barron? Yeah, I'd give you credit for your hey. work. Hey! Credits, too. What, what? I have a small budget for things like this. Oh yeah. Consider it done, girl. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing and how things are in the well. All right. I really can't thank you enough. Girl, I got you. I'm literally accepting everyone's business, okay? What up, dude? Who are you? Who are you? Hope you're not full of bull. Uh-huh. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Fantastic, your systems are working just fine. I must leave. Hi, it's dude. Important that oh! The people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. It's David Barron. Administrations come and go in the big city, but SS, if you ever, we're close to the action huh. here. Well, I can't even talk to him. Girl, you're... David Barron's literally oh, right there. If I'm here, SSNN. Just saying, if I was her, I'd, I'd be over there, like, shaking on the window, like, can I talk? Oh, God. I meant to jump. Oh, fuck. Don't run me over. Can I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Oh, shit. Alley -oop. Oh, boy. Well, now. Wait right here. There we go. Yeah, buddy. There it is. I was actually worried right there for a minute. Okay, we good. Where the hell am I going right now? Gardener. Over here. What's a bad idea? Talk. Let me hear it. Fine, don't talk. Be that way. Shit. Hey, Terry Brew. I found Terry Brew. Oh, it's where that dude was. All right, that's cool. Wait, what? what's that? Oh. Let's go do that. Oh, wait, no, I have to go somewhere else for that. Hold on, never mind. Uh, Biosensor, way over there. 50 some odd meters. Let's roll. Hey, what do you got for me? Okay, I don't know what you said. Damn, this is cool. Look at this. Oh. Bosco, you're in my way. That is so cool, man. I love this. What's that? Residential District? What up, girl? How you doing? Uh, I hope they don't mind me going this way, because I'm going this way. Bosco, just run in the water. You'll be fine. I'm pretty certain robots nowadays are probably waterproof. I would fucking hope they are. Got ourselves an egg. That little kid stole this big old thing? Shit. right now so I can actually go out into the real world huh I like that oh this is the lodge isn't it yeah Since we're here, let's go do this. It's not like I'm going to lose all these quests after I'm done in here. Unless I do. Let's get it.
he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. talking all right hi how you doing we appear to have a visitor what up welcome to constellation we have a lot to talk about would you care to tell us what happened to our friend why you're here and he isn't i immediately am attracted to you and i don't know why um yeah we'll, we'll just we'll just tell her straight up I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Rude. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here with the artifact thank you mateo now let's focus on what's in front of us shall we what happened when it was extracted did anyone see anything hear anything yes we think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time why we're not sure yet so if you wouldn't mind adding another data point Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But on Mr. Kotrick, if you expect us to believe it fairly... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay, cool. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I'm already an explorer, man, girl. You, you, uh, yes. Don't let that metal piece hit you now. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's gonna get me. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh... Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh... Okay. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Girl, you speak in my language. Let's do this. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. 
Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Hey. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? Okay, okay. You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. What? What? We got lots of stuff to do now. Let's have a look around. What we got over here? Dude, that looks really cool. Try I hope Hugh first. makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine. But still, they're dating. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. You got it. Um. Hello there, Vasco. Greetings, Walter Strap. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Okay. Of course. Um, I have been given no alternate instructions. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, vision I saw. What do you think it was? Oh, right. That. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Okay. This wasn't random synapse firing, it, meant, it means something. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened, I'm just thinking it through that's okay now that this has happened to both you and barrett we can know to maybe expect it in the future be a little more prepared we're okay. all in this together now right um hello well constellation's been around forever more than 50 years now but we only became aware of the artifacts recently barrett discovered the first one about two years ago right under our noses and he was the one who got this all in motion it's a shame he isn't here to see this. Yeah, that sucks, actually. Um, let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Sure, sure, sure. Organic stuff. Got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Nice. Okay, um, I've got some organic resources for you. I do. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, shit. I lied to you. I apparently don't. Uh, sell? Yeah, I don't. Never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, sell from ship inventory. Ooh. Okay. I did have some stuff for cool planning on sticking around then good i think we can find a spot for you and along the way i can give you the very abbreviated tour right True. so you've I seen the library obviously i'm 
Walter is quite here, proud of the collection, but, but Mateo has made more than a few before. contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least like usually. Let's head upstairs. All right, cool. Sebastian Come Banks, on. Constellations founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Can I RP walk? Oh, fuck! Sorry, sorry. Yeah, then. So it turns out the mouse button is is for grenades. All right. Sorry, girl. Sorry. So I'm this is the bar. So Usually sorry. no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Of now course. let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. This it's place is nice huge. Having the place so full. Place is giant. I'm ugly as shit. Holy shit, this place is huge. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Gotcha. Let me in. What? What? Storage inventory. I mean, we're fine. Accessible. Damn it. Uh, but whose room is this? Fascinating. Oh. This place is huge. Hello, what do we got in here? Oh. Okay. Pharmaceutical lab? That's cool. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wrong button. Shit. What up, y'all? What is it? What? What kind of shit? Eh. This is my kind of dude. I mean, maybe not that. That's like more punk rockish right there. I say, give me some heavy metal and we'll be down. Not really down for the punk.
fancy. Gross. That's where the help goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude. Come on, come on, let me take Yoda. Let me take Yoda aside. Let me take Yoda. Yes, yes. What, what a fascinating tale. You there, sir, what do you got? What do you got to tell me? Tell me about your life. You there, madam, what is going on down there at the sewing factory? Did Linda stab herself in the finger again? That silly lady. I'm so sorry. What is this? Can I cook? <gasps> Can I cook? I love cooking. Alien jerky. I want some fucking alien jerky. Well, I can't cook anything right now. I don't have shit on me, but damn, I can cook. Hello. I'm sorry I grenaded your place. I really didn't mean to. What was this? What was that? A sextant. I actually knew what that was before I read it. I'm I'm honest. The Clark Lewis. Okay, cool. I'll take you too. I'm gonna take all your shit. I don't even care. God, dude. It's a shitter. Okay, who gets this room? Who gets this fancy ass room that I'm taking shit from? Following is an excerpt from 2283 SSNN report about Constance near collapse. And although Constellation's relevance has been a subject of much debate amongst the new Atlantis intelli intelligentsia. Hold on. Intelligentsia. Okay, whatever. The disappearance of founder Sebastian Banks was a blow to most felt the organization couldn't survive. In fact, Constellation's disbanding seemed imminent until member Chloe Bayo changed her vote in the 11th hour, thus ensuring the group's continued operation at least for the time being, as well as her unexpected appointment to the position of chair. Okay, cool. Is her room then? Am I taking her shit? There's a lot of people here I haven't even met yet, and I'm just taking their shit. It says Sebastian Banks' speech. I should be able to hear this. All right. The following is an excerpt from Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks, starring 2276 speech the United Colonies leadership about the importance of continued space exploration. <clears throat> <clears throat> That is why, my esteemed peers, I beseech you, do not forego the dreams of humanity only to plunge civilization into an endless nightmare. The settled systems stand once more on the brink of war, and for what? A dispute over space? The cosmos is infinite, and yet, like our earthbound ancestors, we have become selfishly obsessed over what we consider ours. At our core, are we a race of conquerors? Of warriors? No, my friends, if nothing else, humans are explorers. So let us continue exploring. Now it is time to venture beyond the imagined borders of the settled systems and fulfill the dreams of humanity. For if we continue down this path, funding only war and not exploration, I fear there will be no one left to remember why we fought in the first place. I should read like that from now on every time I read something because I was surprisingly not stuttering as much as I normally do. I trust your children are close to join Constellation, Noel. It's a dream come true, Zara. You know that. I'm glad to hear it. You could have done just about anything. So it's important to me that you feel valued here. Okay, maybe not every single day is a dream come true. But the work we're involved in, the discoveries we're making, it's all worth it. I'm not eavesdropping, I promise. I know you just met me and all that, but I'm, I'm not that kind of person. What, what? Lodge key. What's in here? Oh, it takes me outside. Okay, cool. I'm sorry that I threw a grenade in your guys' space. I, I didn't mean to. Hi, guys. I find myself spending more and more time here. 
business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Okay. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Yeah, rude. Um, I've been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Vareth. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. <laughs> Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Hey, Farva, Farva. What's that name of that restaurant that you'd like to go to with all the goofy shit on the walls? You mean shenanigans? I love that movie. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a nice person. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. What about self-reliance of being able to go out, sell shit, and just buy what I need? Okay. Uh, complete a research project. I've already done that. Let me see here. Uh, this is where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies. You build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis. Leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Nice word. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance. And so now, I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. All right. Uh, what's your role? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Okay. We can't always continue this some other time? Uh, no. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? That, that's a hot no. Oh, sure, I see lights, hear music all the time. It's a nonstop party in my head. Not doing that. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. All right, okay. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best oh. and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Okay. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. And you with the weird you ass never head. To end up involved in something like this. I mean, you could say that twice. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. I don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade. Uh, that now, explains it. Well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. 
it and you know it. Trying to listen to what's going on in the side conversation there. Uh, came out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? That's a little extreme. Let's not. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? No. I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. No. Uh Not necessarily, no, but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. Uh, okay. Okay, that's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Maybe it was the Great Serpent. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. That happens. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Damn, Walter. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Okay, cool, 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 I got you. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Okay. Go to the garden. What up, garden? Oh, I hate it in here already. Jesus. Can I scan this shit? Yep, taking a sandwich. Can I help? Yes. So? Damn, girl. Are you ready to get to work? Yes. Or was there something else? Um... We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Okay. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. It's a little extreme, but I dig it, girl. Um. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Okay. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. That's pretty accurate, actually. I like that. What do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Dude, I'm like super attracted to her. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like she is, she's she a very attractive character. Like, does this game have relationships? Can we be together? You know, in Dragon Age Inquisition, I, I, I played a female too and I, and I swooed Sarah in that game. Maybe this is a sign, I'm just saying. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. Okay. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Okay. UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. 
Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I'm excited. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. Okay. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Uh... Constellation have a salary. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. I should have asked that. Not to mention, <laughs> I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. Okay. We keep a lot Damn. of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Okay, okay, got it. We'll go. I'll go. I would rather have you as a companion than the robot. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Didn't, didn't, didn't someone tell you? I'm, I'm a part-timer with the security people, so you know. What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. Okay. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. All right. You got it. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? You got it. But can I get my I items from you? Are you satisfied with the quarters available to you. Sure, sure. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Okay. Oh, start an outpost on a planet. Bro. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking by building an outpost you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. Oh, I'm so down for that. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction oh, in your ship's cargo. Thank you. My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. Okay. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. You're just a big softy. My methods of achieving my primary goals are dictated solely by my programming and are not subject to the same whims as humans. 
even if I wished it. I could not approach it any other way. Also, I am incapable of wishing. I don't believe that. You're a big softy. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Sam, you an old dog, okay? So since I have her in my team, can I at least bring you in my ship? Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Okay. Oh, dude. Manage your crew, review and change their assignments between your ships and outpost. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ship or outpost. Oh, cool. Frontier, unassigned. Frontier, okay. Hey! Cool. So you have your skills. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's all. So I go to ship. Turn outpost, outpost. Ship. Very cool. So she's good at botany and all that. So this is literally all this is, is just assign to wherever. And I'm guessing they'll use whatever when we get there. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Okay. Captain, greetings. There we go, trade gear. How may I be of service? Actually, I don't really need to trade gear with you, do I? I'm gonna take some weapons from you, such as... We'll take the shoddy. Goodbye, for now. Okay. Where are you at, girl? We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Okay, uh, trade gear. Want to see what I'm carrying? I mean, I'm gonna take that, but I'm gonna give you the shotgun and the shotgun ammo. So you can have the coachman, okay? Along with the ammo shotgun shells. There you go. It's all you, girl. Oh, I have a new pack! Equip that. You can have that, girl. I'm gonna keep this one. Still have my normal ass space suit. Apparel? Anything new? Actually, hold on a minute. I wanna keep you. You can keep the hat, though. Alright, cool. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. I'm sure he will be. Honestly, uh, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. I get that. I, I totally get that. Sure, go ahead. All right, let's start it off for now. Do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, Seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes. I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. No. But don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Do you consider your area... Uh, what do you consider your area of expertise? You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? She's the well, chair? See. Okay. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. Okay. That being said, I will make a confession. Oh. But you have to promise to keep it between us. What Before is it? Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. Aww. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. There you go. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. Shut <laughs> up. A ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. Drummers are the crazy. The never really went anywhere, of course, but oh, yeah, these were good times, and I remember them fondly. Aw. I'll be here. I like you. So long. Let's roll out. What's this? Oh. Permanently reduces fall. Wait. How, how many of those have I missed so far in my game? We've always considered ourselves explorers. This really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Hi. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. <laughs> you're, you're okay, dog. You're, you're fine. <laughs> And not that serious. Okay, girl. What's going on down here? You went from really, really fancy old English style, like old man stuff, to a dungeon. What's going on? Oh my effing god. Did we just walk into Dexter's laboratory? <clears throat> What's this? Spacesuit! Let's go. I can't make anything, can I? Oh shit. Deep mining space suit. This is what I'm already wearing. Oh, this is stuff that I'm already, this is just for modifying. I got you, okay. Helmet. What? Oh, that's so cool. Aw, okay. Damn, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't do a damn thing. No. Why? Let me do stuff. Wham, I'm crying. I want the oxygen reserve. This is unfair. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. That armor for me? No, no, it's not. I'm wearing it. Do you not see it on me, girl? You can't start like this, okay? That's fair. I can't do shit with that yet. What's this? Well, well. I'll take you, and I'll take you. Oh, what's this? Oh, am I gonna have enough in here? Just around places to grab stuff to make stuff? Oh, give me the ammo, baby. Let's go. What is, it? What is this? Ooh, weapons. Let's go. What do we got? Damn it. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to make anything there either. Damn it, dude. Bro, this is unfair. The industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufactured components 
which can be used for building your structures for the outpost and crafting mods on your weapons and equipment bench. The raw resources used for manufacturing components can be acquired from planets and moons by starting an outpost and setting up resource extractors. Okay, that's cool. I can make an adaptive frame. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Why not? Let's make something, you know? 25. Well, that's just how many I can make. Nice work. What else are you going to make? Girl, I'm going to make your dreams come true. mission board hey oh it's so bright jesus christ oh locate boiled seas in the alpha tierna i mean okay cool i'll take it a mission to locate a planet trait is the most challenging survey mission you'll need to search an entire solar system for a planet that is the target trait locate planets in the uh, target system that have traits this is indicated at the bottom of the planet info card on the star map. Unsurveyed planets will have an unknown trait. Okay, that's pretty cool. Locate continual conductor in Guinea. Sure. Locate global uh, glacial recessions on Olympus. I mean, I'm going to accept all of these, so let's just keep it real here. Can't cook anything yet. Or maybe I can if I take this shit. I lied, I totally can't. Son of a bitch. What do we got down here? This is a mad scientist vault, is what this is. Who the F lives down? Oh. Hey there. Forever human. Okay, this looks like my computer setup right here. I have a monitor over here for my chat and whatnot. I have a TV over here that I use sometimes. I have my main system right here, and I have my ultra wide screen right here. This is literally how my actual setup looks. Yep. What does that say? Adorable. Okay, I already saw it though. I'll take you. I'm not gonna take the pl Oh, it's so cute! I'm not gonna take that stuff. Gotta have a washroom. You always check your toilets. This place is huge, man. God damn. go down here yet hold up or do I no I don't we ain't done in here yet we ain't done up top Perhaps yet we should check in with Mateo or Noel oh yeah did something happen while we were gone was there a scripted thing that's supposed to happen oh hi master Girl, can you, can you open this for me? I want to get what's in there. I need 
what's in there. All right, fine. We'll head up here just to double check, just just to see if anything triggered. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, never mind. Let's leave. We're good. Do I get both of you boys to come with me? I am so sorry I called you a boy girl. Because I want Vasco on my ship. I don't want him necessarily with me. That's slightly rude to say, but you understand why, right? He's super annoying. Oh boy. Also, I have a boost on this pack here. Um, basic boost pack. Like, what does basic, what's like the boost to do? Uh. a lot. Jesus. Equipment. I know it. I'll look it up later. I don't even care anymore. Guess we're gonna go over there, girl. To the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. They're all gonna die. You look like you know how to handle yourself. Know how to fly. Vanguard might well have a place for you. Vanguard's uh, open fine. to UC born or otherwise. How do I get down there? Oh, shit. That jump looked painful. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Where do I have to go from here? Uh, I, I guess here. Why not? Apparently not. Hello. Signing up for the Vanguard? My family. You went to terminals then? The or did you just pop by for two heaping scoops of propaganda? Oh, look at this place. Hi. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all this 
citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Maroon, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? Who knows? Oh, I can't. Oh, I thought there was going to be more there. Hey, look at you guys. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Okay. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war, the Serpent's Crusade. All right, that's cool. The Free Star Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of Aquila banded together with the pleasure city of Neon in mutual defense. But in 2194, after the deployment of a UC medical star station in orbit around their world, the citizens of Narion also requested to join the Collective. The resulting rise in tensions between the Free Star Collective and UC culminated in the Settled System's first intergalactic conflict, the Narion War. Okay. Despite a decisive victory by the UC, the colonies permitted the citizens of Narion to join the Collective, forming the basis for the fiercely independent union that persists to this day. Well, that's cool. Oh god, there's a lot of these. Beginning in 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their Serpent God. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remain, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification a goal of all space. Damn, okay, they salty as shit. Oh, damn, look at that. There are so many of these. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Narion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures, the infamous UC Xeno weapons. Yeah, I've read about them. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. 
the Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After the shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Damn, so they powerful. Horrible conflict that irreparably wounded the settled systems. There were times I felt that it would never end. Dang, okay, okay. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. Dude, these are cool. Damn. This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. Dad wanted me to apply for the administration track at school, but I'm going to be a xenobiologist. It's science division or nothing. All four of my last science papers have been on terraforms. You know it was some UC general that condemned Londinium? Gave it over to these things. One of these murals said he was executed after the war. Might have gotten off too lightly. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. Yeah. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city. The outbreak and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Damn. That can't be true. Oh my god, there's so many of these. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. Oh, shit. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions. Oh, damn. Bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. Holy shit, okay. I was a strong supporter of the armistice. All of the terrible weapons that both sides used against one another. It had to end. Sorry. Sorry.
All right. Oh my God, there's so many. Hello. Hi. That's cool as shit. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. What's the difference between a citizen and a civilian? Service. Would you like to know more? Oh my god, there's so many. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. What? I just... But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. It is Starship Troopers. Oh my god. The cost of living controls means citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. Oh damn. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here in the heart of galactic civilization. As a citizen, of the United Colonies. Oh, I really wanted her to say at the end of that, would you like to know more? Because that would have been funny. Vanguard Pilot Simulator. Let's go. Fuck. Now oh, we have to go out this way in. What up, little dude? I really hope this is just a fake. It's not. I mean, he's young and all that, but come on, it's not. Let's keep it real. Those things are cool as shit. Earth! Where's America? Oh, America's done and destroyed. Oh, never mind. It's back here. Yay! So, I am from... Let's see if I can pinpoint it. I want to say my home. I want to say it's around here. Let's hear it. It goes like that. Shh, me. No. This is the future, so this is not exactly exactly what America is, or else it would be like up here or some shit. There's the Great Lakes. Good to see Florida's not broken off yet. So if I'm following it, I'm, I'm still gonna say right around here in Wyoming is where I'm from. So right around there. Currently where I live is right around, I wanna say there in Germany. I don't know, I'm terrible at maps. Let me in. Where are we going? Uh, Nat Station, I guess. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode right here, you guys, because we're at an hour and 29 minutes, and I said last time that I want to try to keep these below, uh, below, what, like an hour or so? Wow, an hour or so, Jesus Christ. In between an hour and an hour and a half, so... Yep, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Hope you guys liked the episode. Lots of lore, lots of getting things into place. Hopefully next time when we come back, we'll finish off some of these quests I have here in the city, and then we'll fly away and go do something else. If you liked the video, hit the like button down below, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and subscribe if you guys like what I put out. Until next time, hope you all have a wonderful day.